Yeah, things look so different this year. It's hard to believe Fat Tuesday is just four days away during a time when the Gulf Coast, New Orleans, Mobile are usually bursting with Mardi Gras spirit. It really doesn't feel like the carnival season, but since it is Mardi Gras, that's what everyone is talking about locally. And every Friday on the four on five, Brianna Hollis takes the week's hottest topics to the streets. Brianna is asking you, since you won't be out at parades, what will you be doing Tuesday? <laughs> The Mardi Gras plans this well, year. Well, locally, they? the parades have been canceled, so the only place to have a little fun would be uh, the, the local bars. Walking on the beach <laughs> the entire time. Just different this year because of the. Yeah, we love Mardi Gras. Aww. Well, nobody's doing anything around here, I don't think, this year. Right. Can't afford to. <laughs> Everybody gets sick. We really don't have any. Care to share your Mardi Gras plans this year with WKRG? We have this is it. Yeah, we, we're not going out. I don't have any plans. We're really? just hanging out with family. All right, so, so not going to come down here or anything? No, probably not. We don't have our two parades that were our favorites. We're Orange Beach and right here in Gulf Shores. We're going to grill steaks, drink wine, and have crawfish. What do you usually do? Well, we usually go watch a little bit of the parade. So what would you guys usually be doing? Down here hanging out. Right. We're all with family. We could always collect the beads for grandkids and stuff. And then the pandemic was on, so all of our grandkids are going, oh no, no, we don't want beads now, so. <laughs> this year, we'll just have to skip it. Man, but the last guy just said it best. This year, just have to skip it. I think the people who said it best that I'm just going to stay home and eat steak and drink wine <laughs> and eat crawfish. crawfish. <laughs> so uh, most people do seem like they're just going to lay low, Brianna. Yeah, so we did ask people in both Gulf Shores and downtown Mobile, and that does seem to be the consensus. So when it comes to what's actually going on um, on Tuesday, Alberta is having a parade. Right. And in downtown Mobile, we've been doing stories about this all week. The entertainment district is going to be closed off to cars to encourage people to spend money at bars because obviously the economy is another big thing that took a hit during the pandemic right. but the mayor of course encouraging people to socially distance but I'm really curious to see what is actually going to happen yeah. on Fat Tuesday. We all are. Yeah. Now it is different here for our newsroom too. We're oh usually going all out <laughs> to show all of you watching at home what is going on downtown. Brianna, are you usually out in the streets in the middle of it all? Right. I'm usually decked out in throws. I've had like 15 moon pies, even though I don't like them. Sorry. Um, Do you like I, to put them in the microwave, though? Have you done that yet? No, I, see, so it's like a s'more. Neil, our assistant news director, recommended either that or campfire moon pies and I could maybe get on board with that. I'm trying. I'm trying guys. <laughs> but but yeah, like you said, we're usually all out in the thick of it. We're covering every single parade all across the entire Gulf Coast. We already have a plan for wall to wall coverage on yep. Tuesday. We're on from, you know, the morning to late at night and it's just it, it's so weird. It's so weird not having that this year. If this graphic wasn't behind me, it'd be like just any other week in the newsroom. It's crazy. It's strange not going downtown and seeing roads blocked right. and barricades on the sides yeah. when there aren't parade. So next year, hopefully exactly. this year, enjoy that time with your family. Thanks, Brianna. Mm -hmm.